after understanding the economic applications of second order difference equation we can understand the higher order linear difference equations as well and we can already expect that they will have an order of the lag or lead greater than 2 because the uh, difference equation with the lag or lead of 2 is the second order difference equation. So this higher order difference equation will have a certain standard form that will look like this. You can see on the right hand side we have a constant just like we had in the higher order differential equation where the constant was b. Here we have coefficients that are increasing in terms of their subs uh, subscript value that is a0, a1, a2 and then a n minus 1 and finally the highest order that is a n and the variable term that is y t and then its first lead and then its second last lead the third last lead and finally the last lead so you can see that the order is such that the difference is increasing or the lag or lead is increasing from right to left whereas the coefficients subscript is increasing from left to right. This is a phenomenon that we observed in the higher order differential equation as well. This is just for the sake of learning that how this uh, formation will happen. Now it has an nth order because it has an nth order difference or lag or lead whichever the case is that is t plus n or t minus n and this is degree that is linear first order difference equation uh, it will be uh, correction it will be the first degree uh, or linear in nature because uh, the power of the nth order difference term will be 1 as you can see this is the highest order lag and or lead and it has a power of 1 it doesn't have any square or any cube or any higher uh, power and the constant coefficients that are involved are represented by a's that is a1 a2 and a3 and so on up to a n then constant term is represented with c for the sake of simplicity we are not assuming variable coefficients or variable terms in it we are considering constant coefficients and constant term that is a a1 a2 up to a n and c and we are dealing with the linear cases in this course not non-linear and finally we are not considering the cross terms that is the terms of yt are not being multiplied with yt plus 1 or yt minus 1 or any other lag or lead they are separate terms now finally solution is there the solution can be done by finding the yp that is particular solution and the complementary function the sum of both will give us the general and finally the definite solution of a higher order difference equation so the solution of the higher order difference equation is merely the extension of the solution of second order difference equation so we can use the second order difference equation solution to build the solution of the higher order difference equation if we remember from the particular solution one of the cases was case 1 where the sum of the coefficients was not equal to minus 1 this was the sub case 1 and here we can extend this sum of coefficients up to a n nth order implies n number of characteristic roots it means that we have nth order difference equation and the roots will also be equal to the order of the difference equation that is n number of characteristic roots will be there now a hybrid complementary solution can exist for example if we have n roots let us assume that the first three roots are repeated real in nature and the second la the la last two roots are complex in nature in that situation 
first three are the repeated real roots that is a1 a2 and a3 these are the arbitrary constants b1 is the root that is being repeated with the power of uh, t and then we have b1 with the power of t but t is being multiplied and then b1 raised to the power t but t square is being multiplied because in the repeated case we have the product with t power 0 in the first term and in the second term t raised to the power 1 and in any other term that comes after it t gets multiplied uh, t square gets multiplied so this t gets introduced in the second and the other remaining terms when it comes to the repeated real roots we have seen this much of the t's in the second order difference equation where there were two terms with a1 and a2 as the arbitrary constants now we come to the final roots whereas in this uh, sign we can understand that uh, the fourth root, fifth root and other roots they are residing here since we are talking about the second last and the last root uh, the both of them are assumed to be complex in nature so they will be represented with this sine and cosine formation and a n minus 1 and a n will be the arbitrary constants in this case that is the second last arbitrary constant and the last arbitrary constant now the characteristic roots are there uh, characteristic roots if they are n in number the arbitrary constants they will also be n in number and they will be n initial conditions for the definite solution we have to find the definite solution we will need the initial conditions so all three these uh, of these things they are equal to each other depending upon the value of n this is just an observation that can be helpful and now we try to solve a numerical example here we have uh, a third order difference equation which can be considered as the higher order difference equation we extract the value of a1 and a2 and a3 and c from here the a's and the value of c since c is not equal to zero we know that this would be a non-homogeneous case this is particular integral yp and for that uh, we are considering that the first subcase will exist where the coefficients they sum not equal to minus one so we have this sum and this is the sum that is minus 23 over 32 which is not equal to minus 1 it means that we can adopt a formula from the second order difference equation of the particular integral that was the first subcase this is that same from the second order difference equation but we have added a3 in the denominator just beside the other two coefficients and this has happened because we have a third coefficient in this case due to the third order difference equation so adopting this formula and substituting these values we get the particular integral which is equal to 32 and this is the static equilibrium because there is no t involved in it so we have found the particular integral the equilibrium value the other part of the solution is the complementary function that we would like to find out Re uh, resorting again to the second order difference equation which had this characteristic equation uh, where a1 and a2 are the coefficients for the third order difference equation we have a characteristic equation which has a degree of 3 because this is a third order difference equation so third order difference equation gives rise to a cubic function now we can solve this by putting the values of a1 and a2 in it as well as a3 so after putting these values we got this equation this cubic function and this is actually the characteristic equation the roots of which can guide us about the nature of the roots involved in this solution 
so we have rearranged it and this is the factorized form of this equation that we developed this is something we have borrowed we have not solved this basic thing you can pause the video and try to decompose this cubic equation into these factors so that we be able to extract the values of b's in it so this part is likely to be the first root and the other possibility equal to zero will be the second root and the third root because all of it was equal to zero it m means that either or all of them are equal to zero so using this virtue we came up with these uh, three equalities all of them equal to zero and we extracted the values of b1 b2 and b3 which means that we have a hybrid group of roots and b1 and b2 both of them they are the same and b3 is different it means that it is a distinct real root and the same roots can be termed as the repeated real root collectively they can be termed as b that is 1 over 2 now we can form the complementary function for this hybrid nature of the roots and here you can see for the first two roots we have repeated real root segment and for the final root we have distinct real root segment hybrid nature of the complementary function is what we can see here there is a hybrid nature of the complementary function and this yc is this that is repeated real root segment now we have substituted the value of both the roots and the final root as well once we do this we get the complementary function with both of the cases that is repeated real root and distinct real root this was the uh, complementary function we can add the particular integral in it making it the general solution here you can see this is now a general solution as 32 is added and this is the time path now and this is the time path of the given difference equation which was a third order difference equation we also need to find out the dynamic stability and before we do that just a reminder that if the order is equal to 3 the initial conditions will also be 3 in number now finally coming to the dynamic stability we all know uh, that the requirement for dynamic stability is that the roots no matter how many they are they should be less than one in their absolute terms so b1 and b2 both of them they are equal actually because both of them they are equal to 1 over 2 their absolute value will be uh, the same that is 1 over 2 which is less than 1 so the first two roots that is repeated real roots they give a sign of convergence now we talk about the third root which is distinct real root it is negative but it ab but its absolute value will make it 1 over 8 which is again less than 1 which means that the third root is also contributing to the dynamic stability of this given third order difference equation so we can say that it is a convergent time path that we have obtained for this third order difference equation so this is how we can understand the solution of a third order or a higher order difference equation in which both yp and yc are found using methods that are similar to the higher order differential equations and they are also built on the second order difference equations formula that we have studied before this was about an example this these were a few features of the second or uh, higher order difference equations and this was the overall topic of higher order difference equations thank you